Caboose. With the flash prep, nice curveball around the corner, but Miller there with the backup. And now suddenly it puts all the pressure on the Sova, who's currently backside sight. Nice paranoia coming out as well as a deep dark cover coming in from Omen. Now the flash pack gets detonated just a bit early. There is a Sage in play, which is a little bit odd. Not something you see all the time. Lin gets dropped by Crashies as does Yana. Mummy is there with the pickup on the zoo, so that's the Sage down. It will fall down to one player. It's Toy, the man we praise, coming into it. But it's Mummy as the Jet, a 3k on the round. Big pistol round pickup for Envy. That looked doable, though, for a second there for a TD. Yeah. He is spotted. Crashy says it's his turn. No, actually, Food says me first. Yeah, a lot of aggression currently for Envy. Pushing mid, pushing long, pushing garage. They just want to get these eco frags. They're hungry for them eco frags. Oh, Crashies. <laughs> Tosses out the shock dart and a nice little boop, gotcha. They are, well, now pushing in from A-Link, and now it, it, 2D is actually getting more and more choked out by the second here. The longer they take, the more hesitation, the closer Envy get. And that is not going to make things easy. FNS with a 3K spray down right there. Not bad from the in-game leader. Feels like he hasn't really gotten into the action just yet, but finally they come down. I mean, that's just going to get him caught. The monsters of Envy are right around every corner. And they have to work with the numbers. And that's what they do again. Love that. One for one trade, 4v4 situation now. Aldrone going in. Spots one back sight. There's the beauty of playing Sage still as they get the res in there as well. Things are looking good right now for 2D as they've woken up after a few rounds went the other direction. Lin is pushed up aggressively. But, oh, look at Caboose on the flank taking down the Sage. And there's actually one around the corner now. Crashing picked up one in the site. It's a back and forth volley that favors the side of 2D. Now, Mummy has to be careful. There's a player coming through from Garage, and the flash oh. is perfect. Forces him back behind the box, and Lin is there. Mummy, though, found a good pick before, and he does so again on top now of the Seaside box, taking down Toy. The Phoenix entry fragger for 2D falls. And last time around, once Envy found a 5v4 and the situation slowed down just for a second, they were able to do such a great job. We'll see if they're able to replicate that. Nice flash over the top. A quick peek from Caboose that results in success. It's Lin with the follow-up, but Crashies again with a response. Envy controlling the round and the scoreboard currently. Again, they still do have Orbital Strike online, so Miller has capability to try and at least defend Eliminate. if they can manage to get onto this site. Oh, the slow warp comes out from Mizzou at a terrible time, but it doesn't actually result in their immediate demise. Had a chance to survive a little while longer, but just couldn't quite get away. But it still does come down to a 1v2. It's Miller with one on the flank, has to be careful. Tries to spin back around, but FNS is in too advanced a position. and Because that does feel like that first point of contact that Envy just live once they find. Oh, FNS really trying to play the cyber cages here. And, oh, he's able to get a kill there. Mummy is able to connect as well. That's a really nice little setup there by Envy. And, oh, Mummy actually throws out the knives, but doesn't quite find the kill. But, oh, he's just getting in their faces now. The ultimates are out for Envy, and they are here to play. I thought he was going to get that last one as well, but it's food from downtown to close things out. Seven game possible. Yeah, that's... I can be playing him in Tetris, and he's never even touched it before, and he'd destroy me. It doesn't sound fair. Now, Caboose. Playing up on short, ends up getting picked off by Mizzou. That's a big res coming out as well to bring things back to a better favor for Team 2D. Now, Mummy has already snuck all the way out. They're not going to expect this. And there's the Tailwind as well to get away. Huge play coming out from Mummy with the AWP to reduce things down to a three on three. Now, their Omen still has the ult available. Should be food. And then FNS on the flank already starting to sneak his way through the sewers. Yeah, it's really going to come down to what FNS is able to accomplish on this flank. If he just goes one for nothing, that's good enough. And okay, Miller actually is, holds the smoke, he's able to find him, and oh no, food! Runs out of bullets! He's going to be able to switch his gun, but... Play. I'm just constantly spinning. Now, I downloaded a program that helps me do it. People keep saying that there's something wrong with it, but I don't get it. Like, it makes the game a lot easier for me when it aims. I just... I don't see the problem there. Going up. You know what? Whatever floats your boat is what I say. <laughs> I mean, who's to tell you that you shouldn't do that, right? I, right? Just yeah, like... there's no 
moral or societal standards. Uh, I've actually never used a cheat before. It's just, I, I never understood the allure. I feel like I have to say that after making a joking statement like that. Here comes the peak from FNS through that smoke and past the slow orb as well. The barrier orb went up and put a wall in their way, but it doesn't even really make a difference. Team 2D attempted a B take that took things off here in day two of the NSG Standing Winter ahead. Championships. Yana on long again. Now, this is something we saw from a lot of teams going back to the early stages of the game. Yeah. That ghost buy in the second round doesn't really work anymore, and you can see why. They're now matched up against a lot of Spectres. So there's SMGs, there's even the Frenzy in the mix. That puts all the pressure on Mizzou, who's on site with the Spectre, to try and step things up. But the Stingers and Pistols overwhelm them, and they do get a spike down. So this is currently not so good for Team 2D. Yeah, we'll see what 2D is able to do on the retake. But I've got some words after it. We'll see. All right. Sound One enemy out. Looks like they will be stopped in their tracks. Sage, and even the Sage wall coming in, and it has time to fortify as well to make things a little bit harder. Now, they spot this player backside site, who's got a marshal. They had to use one of those shots to take down the recon dart, and now they're hiding inside of smoke with the worst possible gun for this scenario. It's, that's just never going to pan out well for you. <laughs> it's Brim, the, the man they call Miller. 10 HP, shock dart to the chest. And a follow-up from Crashy's results. And you know how deadly Mummy can be. We watched it in that first half. Here comes the potential spike cancel from Yana, who's trying to spot out the planter. Delay pulse on the third after finding the first one onto the planter FNS. Now Caboose has dropped Toy. That's his counterpart Phoenix. Mummy peeks through and has two targets staring at him, but at least gets the pickup on the first one. Through the boxes, the bullets fly, but Mo Miller's not actually able to penetrate that box the way that he intended. Again, a back and forth battle, but the flashes prove to be a little bit too. Player on site is Mummy, who's in such a bad spot should they decide to start pushing through. And you can see the position that Mummy finds himself in. Stuck on the default they spot, just has to keep looking in both directions. They've got a tripwire on the flank, good trade peak coming in, but there's a follow up there. And now the smokes coming out are going to make this a whole lot harder for the players who are now stuck inside the cubby. They're getting pinched from both sides, but somehow they've turned it back around, but it doesn't matter. Toys managed to get past it all and he has to escape through the hot hands. Does he have the time though? I don't oh. think he's got this. It's gonna detonate right now, and it's gonna be a round going in favor of Envy as Toy just couldn't get back into the site quick enough. The hot hands in his- That smoke too, and that just made things extra awkward for them. Damn. So 2D there, some uh, a hectic situation that all in all was pretty good actually, but just uh, a little bit of hesitation in, on their side. and. I mean, that's, that's the difficulty of a five-on-five five retake. Yeah, everything just has to go right so quickly. Oh, will the spike actually get down? Yeah. It will. Mummy sacrifices his life for that one. And we've got another many men situation in terms of the retake. And food, though. Okay, he's been trying to lurk before. This time around, it works. Tap comes out. And it looks like Envy are here to clean up. Showstopper comes out from Lin. He's not able to find anything with it. And Envy, they're able to play expensive. Uh, Riot really did a number on Sage for the last couple of patches. Really more specifically looking at mid-summer to mid-fall. But shots coming out from Yana at a distance with the Guardian of all things. Not a weapon we typically see purchased. Especially not in a round like this when you might be facing off against Stingers. It's a little bit scary, but playing that distance game back in market watching top cat in mid now yana has to be careful oh i don't think yana clears this and fns is in position for frenzy and yeah, that's exactly what we're talking about it's a scary line of sight to try to peek but fns gets a little bit ahead of himself charges in knife out and gets dropped by toy and the crashies finds that kill on a miller and oh mame the headshot on the toy is massive. They should still be aware of Crashy's position. He found a kill from here earlier, but oh wow, it looks like 2D are just rotating off completely. They think that the mid round from Envy, Envy is going towards B, and they're uh, they're so far away already. This should left. be a free spike plant on the side of Envy. They will be able to set up post plant positions. I'm interested in what kind of utility. Envy has at this point. If there's anything to make this hold a little bit stronger for them. They'll close the door, planted. and that is not going to make things any easier for 2D. So again, a few mistakes made here by Team 2D. 
You can see the push coming in from multiple directions. Missed shot from Mummy has to be careful. Can't peek back because they don't know if there's one coming out from Heaven currently. The follow-up isn't where it needs to be either. The pistol comes out from Mizzou, who managed to scoop up an SMG as well. So 2D, they do survive the round. It's a little scary there. Lin will hop on light armor and some pistols. Frenzies and Sheriffs. Again, FNS loves that share of the uh, frenzy, but an incredible shot from Yana with the Guardian. Again, a gun we kind of questioned in the previous round, and now you can understand why Yana has gone for that purchase. Oh, wait a second. Envy, they lose their spike towards middle right now, and they have control over the A site right now. This is just an odd situation that you don't see every day. Spike down middle, and now Envy, despite having full control of a site, have to pretty much retake mid at this point. 2D are just in every nook and cranny now that you could hope for, and all in all, the positioning probably means another pretty clean win from 2D here, and uh, at this point, you're just looking for damage if you're Envy. So we'll see if Miller gives up his life here. Good paranoia, actually, to help him scale, but still, Looking like a pretty good cleanup all in all. 2D. As you can see some presence currently gathered up here for the stacking side. Yeah, good luck. Uh, that, that paranoia makes things so much more difficult. That flash is so incredibly brutal. Now, through the cyber cage, we'll see Sage pick up a kill, oh. but there's one already in spawn. So food has gotten behind enemy lines, taken down quickly by Miller. Orbital strike coming out to try and force them out of the site. But it's kind of in a weird spot, so typically you'll see that go back into Boathouse as well to try and prevent anyone from just kind of sheltering up in that position. Some decent verticality from the jet here to allow them to put some shots down range from on high, and Mummy has no idea where they're coming from, so that's a big pickup from Lin. FNS is getting shot through the box as well. This retake is looking promising currently, but Crashies delivers at least with a quick shot out of the operator, and now FNS chimes in as well. It's down to one. It's Boy coming through from lane. Picks up the first on the FNS, goes for the pistol. It's the sidearm coming out. Now it's a game of ring around the Rosie, and Toy is too old to not know how to play that. <laughs> Toy picks up a big round for Team 2D. That's now Clutch. four on the board for them. Wow, great. Is usually slightly defender sided, I would say, but when you're the favorite team, you, you don't expect to be down in a deficit like this. But it looks like it will be an A play all in for Envy. But they're getting stopped in their tracks right now. The utility is here, but Mummy, he flies over it all. He's able to take down Miller, and that might be the in that Envy need. FNS, he knows there's a player to the right, but they just keep challenging over and over, and there are, there's every player from 2D here at this point. The rotations are in, and Crashies, he has to try to fight himself out of a tough situation. He's doing a great job, but he can't find everything. It just leaves food in the 1v3. And this would be just such a crazy battle. I don't think they know exactly where he is just yet, but they will now. Mizu with the wide swing takes him down, and 2D just shuts game, and that's, that's when things get scary if you're 2D. So, we'll see if they're able to keep on fighting, though. It feels like if you want to stop the momentum of Envy, you got to do it right now. Miller, though, falls. But Yana does find a return kill on the Caboose, who's just pushing through the dark cover. And right now, Envy, they have a lot of information from this Owl drone from Crashies. Okay, they know the, that practically the entire A site is clear. They aren't sure about the hell position just yet, but it doesn't look like Envy are actually too interested in going here regardless. FNS, on his lurk, will be making his way close B main, and there's no one actually here from 2D right now, and they don't even have a Cypher or a Killjoy player to really give them any kind of advanced warning. But the Hunter's Fury comes out. Where is that going at this point? Crashies is trying to find something. He gets a single tag off of that, so that's just a little bit of information. And Food here teleports to the back of the site, and as earlier mentioned, there's no one from 2D that's here. They are all towards that defender spawn right now. It's going to be a one-dimensional hit. No more charges left. 2D looking 1D. Uh, we'll see if that affects them at all. FNS going for the 3K as they come through from spawn. Make it four on the round. The Brimstone and Sage, of course, ready with theirs. And there it is, actually. The ultimate comes out immediately, but it doesn't seem to be any effect at all actually this is a uh, this did not pan out the way 2d may have wanted and because they lost the sage the sage they lost that other ultimate oh boost he's gonna take that all day he knows that there's a player there that is free for him so 5v3 situation good early round aggression from envy 
very strong in the default. That's what I really love about this team. Always feels like they're so thorough in it. But Toy, he's trying to recover it. Just goes one for one, though. And again, it's just down to Miller. It looks like a dire situation in Envy. Yeah, it, as soon as they got ahead of Steam, it, they just can't be stopped right now. 2D, they're doing their best to contain the efforts of the opposing team, but smoke. even even a Brimstone ult couldn't slow them down here. in this round. Vigilly have more money almost than the entire side of Team 2D combined. Oh. Yana tries to go for a pickoff and did early on with the Marshall and it's kind of a one and done gun. You you either hit that shot or you don't. And <laughs> you go for that headshot. Yeah. Doesn't deliver. And ultimately it's now two down as things are falling apart here. Oh. Some good shooting from Miller again with the sheriff. That's two kills on the round. But it'll fall on to Mizu, who's actually over in B. Manages to get a kill and a res. That's also a rifle pickup here for Sage. So that's huge. They've now got themselves a two-on-two. -two, and the Phoenix, who's currently alive, has run it back available. So Toy can try to find a weapon from somewhere, but not when Food is doing things like that. That's going to make it a whole lot harder. Food feeling aggressive, going for some shoulder peaks and leap peaks, strafing around the corner. But realizes it's not worth it to try and overextend that battle. Paranoia is big, fat, and right in the face of Toy. That's a nice little four-piece for Food. Rashies has snuck his way into a heaven. I think they may be aware of it, but he still catches Miller off guard. He's gonna go for more, but Lin is there to greet him and meet him with an op operator shot to the chest. Oh. Up in mid. Yeah, that's an awkward battle. FNS fighting with Toy, but it, ultimately what matters most for Envy is the spike's been planted. Empress is online for Caboose. That increased fire rate currently active as they are about to come right around the corner. That's a blaze wall coming through. Do they have a curve wall as well? Yes, they do. It's going to go a little bit too high, though. Goes past Caboose. That allows them to do that. That's the first one going their direction. Dismissed, messing it with his Tars. Would love to see him pick up a big win here, but it just seems like it's slipping through their fingertips. The camera gets taken down, but the dart was already delivered. Does FNS decide to peek on this? Yeah, that's the concern. Miller has been lights out with that Sheriff. His pistol work, so impressive, as you mentioned. And even Mizzou as well, chiming in with some sheriff work of their own now. What they don't anticipate is this play from Crashies. Getting aggressive, not only finding the kill, but also spotting the spike. Letting them know, hey, the spike is back here. But in the meantime, one has actually managed to sneak onto this A site. You can see Reyna currently underneath the stairs. Mizzou's still back in spawn, able to drop another! That's three on the round for the Sage! And there's Yano! Down, bounce into the beat. They're getting ready to go in on this push. And it's going to be Lin to find the first execution on the Crashies. There's Caboose who says, my Sheriff is pretty good too, but doesn't have much staying power. Now Mummy and Food chime in. They're like, your Sheriffs are cute, but we like the Classic. We think it's just as good. El Classico proves to be successful for Envy as they now find themselves in a one-on-two working pistols even better than their opponents. The door is about to be shut. And the door potentially shut on the round as Toy looks the wrong direction, gets peeked upon, but no! FNS with just a frenzy from distance can't make it work. So we will have a spike plant coming in here, but maybe not. Oh, Never mind. Wow. FNS quickly gets onto the site. The main, but Mummy's position is so advanced right now. I just can't think they would expect that angle. They don't. Yeah. That's, that's just crazy, honestly. FNS, though, always getting charged down, but he is able to recover in time. Mizu, the firepower wasn't there with that pistol he was wielding. We praise their pistol prowess, but it's not really working out so well for them here. It's Toy with the Vandal, of all things, making some magic happen. 6-9 is the score. Keck W's in the chat as Team nice. 2D find themselves in a one-on-three. And it's Toy in that position. Now, Toy's already found two. He's going for the ace to try and clutch out the round, but he's going to get shot in the back Yeah, from food. Coming around the backside of A main, 10-6. Not sure if he's completely aware of Toy's position, though, and how close he is Prepare on that angle. Hellfire. There we go, ultimate from Brimstone comes out, and FNS, he gets caught in it, actually. Great opening kill for 2D there. So Caboose has so much to do, and he can't find anything, actually. Here we go, 2D, they're all over this B site. 3v5 situation, who gets one as the door is closing right there? Some parting shots, and Crashy fights his way back into it on top of that. Toy falls, Yana there to return one. Food, he's trying to get something, but he is denied that. 
Yana though peeks up and he gives up the 2v1 with an aggressive swing. And Fu now, he's going to play a slow game. He thinks that Lin may push the other side, but that's not going to happen. Lin's in the back of sight. Boathouse, that is. He's just waiting. Fu's got to be quick now. He's giving up his position, but oh, the instant headshot from Fu, actually. Another death. I think well, he's got it, so that... He, he does have it. Yeah. There should be about three or four seconds left. So, what that is, friends. and I'm sure you'll recognize this as well, to couldn't quite close it out. It was another one of those close scenarios. What they had in that first map, too. Ooh. Caboose. Getting aggressive through the smoke, using Dismiss as well to escape. There's Hunter Fury being popped out. Oh, good God. I mean, he is right next to his target. Mummy says, don't worry, I'll pick up your table scraps. It's down to Toy and Toy alone, who's actually doing decent work yet again. We saw this a few rounds ago from Toy, but it's all for naught. Still ends up being a round for Envy. Two rounds prior to this, they had to basically use everything. It's going to be tough for them. And it gets tougher every time Mummy hits a shot like that. Lin, moving up mid. There's a target right around the corner. FNS already practicing the crouch. Just making sure <laughs> in case he wants to go in at the end of this round. Right around the corner is a looming threat of Lin. Along his side is Miller. Lin will go in first, and there's the executionary piece coming up from...